everyone, happy Friday and welcome to another weekly reading vlog. It is currently Friday evening, I finished work and I am ready to just chill. This week has been incredibly stressful, I don't know if you noticed in my last reading vlog but everything is stressing me out at the moment so I've been reading a lot to try and chill out and exercising is really helping as well actually. So this weekend I have a couple of plans, I want to do a bit of a workout so I'm going to go to the gym on Sunday and maybe do a run later on today because I need to start practicing for this 5k that I'm doing. And then tomorrow, my boyfriend and I are hoping to go to Bath, which is a ta large town, small city in the UK. I'm not really sure what it would be classified as. I've always wanted to go and I never have, so that'll be fun. As for my reading plans this weekend, I'm going to carry on with The Radium Girls, which I started listening to this morning as an audiobook, and I've already listened to three hours of it because it is very, very good. It's very addictive. It's narrated very well as well. So it's non-fiction and it's about the girls who worked in various different companies in the 1920s or the 1910s and they worked directly with radium. They were told that working with radium was completely safe for them, even though the people knew by this point already that radium ate away at anything that it touched and that it could eat away at human tissue. They were told that it was all fine and they would paint dials and numbers onto watch faces. They would do this with a tiny paintbrush and to make the paintbrush more pointy and fine, they would put it in their mouth with this radium paint on it. So at the moment the narrator is introducing various characters, talking about how a couple of different companies worked. She has just spoken about this one woman who's, I think she was 24, 25, so my age, and her teeth started to fall out and eventually she lost all of her teeth and then it w moved on to her jaw. So her jaw started disintegrating and it fell out into the dentist's hand. And that is absolutely terrifying. So I'm really enjoying reading it, but it is very disturbing because obviously it's nonfiction. This actually happened and yeah. So I'm slightly addicted to listening to it at the moment because I'm really, really enjoying it. So I'm going to listen to a little bit more of that at the weekend. I also started The Queen's Rising at lunchtime today, which is a YA fantasy book about a girl whose name is something. I can't remember her name, but that's not important. When she was a child she joined this school thing where she wanted to practice one of five passions. There is art, music, drama, like theatre, uh, wit and knowledge. She tried a couple, she's not very good at any of them, so she settled with knowledge. So she's trying to become like the master of knowledge and get chosen by a patron to go into their whole household and become like a master or something. I'm only 15% of the way through, which, which is why this sounds ridiculous. We're not actually sure who her father is, and that's a whole mystery, and her grandfather left her at the school. I reckon that she's going to be like the lost queen or princess. I know this probably seems quite obvious. I haven't read the description, so I don't know if it says this in the synopsis. So it might do, and it I might be just like babbling, but at the moment she seems to be the lost princess. I think it's a standalone, so that would be good. I don't really read many fantasy standalones. This is actually a review copy provided by the publisher, so I really should have gotten to it in February or January before it was released, but I just wasn't interested in fantasy. So I'm reading it now, I'll let you know how that goes. I am also just about to show you my April TBR, because I haven't done that yet and I said that I would save it for this video, so I will get on to that now. As always, I will start off with the books that I was going to read last month, so my backlog, and then I'll get onto the new stack of books that I've added to it because I can't stop myself. So these are the ones that I was going to read in previous months. These two are from February, I believe, and these four are from March. Um, I started Leviathan, couldn't really get into it. I'm going to give it one more go before I DNF it because I really wasn't enjoying it, but I'm going to try. I'm really excited for the fifth season, but I'm waiting to be in the like correct fantasy mood for that because I'm hoping to binge read the series. Then the others I'm just going to get to when, you know, whenever I feel like it. Hopefully soon because I am quite excited for all of them, barring Leviathan because that hasn't gone great so far. And then this is my pile for April. I feel like it's not too ambitious because I've been reading a lot of ebooks and audiobooks, which is weird for me but that's been happening. These are just books that I've had on my TBR for ages and I've chosen them for various reasons. The first one, as you can see, is The Darkest Minds by Alexandra Bracken. I've had this for the longest time, probably since the paperback came out. I'm picking this up now because the movie trailer got released and I thought the trailer made it look quite generic. I'm not opposed to going to watch it, so I'm gonna give this book a go. It's about people with superpowers and I think like kids that seem to be killed or they're dying off or something and the ones who survive have superpowers. 
this is all what I'm gathering from the trailer, Fire by Kristen Cashaw, which is the second book in the Graceling trilogy. As I'm sure you're aware, it's actually a prequel about one of the characters who was featured in Graceling, so it's kind of like a spin-off prequel kind of thing. I remember really liking Graceling when I read it way back when, probably in 2011. Atonement, which is a very popular book that I've never read. Um, I've had it on my TBR shelf for the longest time and I just wanted to get to it this month because I'm looking to read standalones rather than series. And most of the books on my TBR shelf are series, so I'm gonna get cracking on the standalones, I think. And I also wanted a contemporary or historical book because I'm just not in the fantasy mood at the moment, which is a shame. Birdsong by Sebastian Forks. This is another war story, which is very popular and I haven't read it. I don't know if I'm going to read both of these books. Actually, I might just read one of them. It depends how much the first one breaks my heart, we'll see. The Truth and Lies of Ella Black. I have no idea what this is about. I was sent it for review ages ago and it kind of just caught my eye when I was going through my shelves earlier. Oh, it came out in January, which is still this year. So, you know, I'm not too far behind. I thought this came out in like October or something. And finally, I'm going to get to Reborn by Jennifer Rush. The Altered Saga is actually one of my favorites. It, well, it was. Altered was an amazing book when it first came out. I don't know if it would still hold up to the same standards now, but I loved it. So I'm hoping to get to this this month and finally finish off the trilogy because I did really enjoy the previous two books. Good evening, everyone. It is currently Monday evening and I just got home from work, but I thought I would give you a quick update before I went and did other stuff. I've got a couple of plans for this evening. Uh, first of all, I need to tidy up the flat again because somehow I keep making a mess and I don't know how this keeps happening. And then I'm going to see A Quiet Place in the cinema in about an hour, so I've got a little bit of time to clean up and eat something. I'm really looking forward to this film. If you've seen the trailers, then not many people seem to know about it from what I've seen, like, outside of the internet. But it looks incredible. It's a horror film, I think, horror slash thriller. And the entire film is basically silent because the main characters can't make noise, otherwise these monsters or demons or whatever they are, I don't know, will get them because they focus on sound. And apparently this suspense as you're watching it is incredible because the entire audience is meant to be staying quiet as well because obviously you're in a film and also you don't want to make noise when the screen is quiet. As for my reading, I've got a few things to update you on. I read or listened to a lot more of the Radium Girls over the weekend and today during my commute. I'm now six or seven hours in out of 15, so I'm about halfway through. And they're currently talking about how various laws and rules were introduced to try to prevent the deaths from happening due to Radium. But it just wasn't enough and the companies also weren't interested in enforcing these rules or laws. So that's happening and it's quite upsetting. To hear about but it's still really really interesting so i would definitely recommend the radium girls if you like non-fiction because it's very good i read a little bit more of the queen's rising i'm not loving it but i'm not hating it either it's actually fairly interesting so far i like the slow world building that it's got going on because i think this is a standalone however there seems to be a weird like teacher student relationship going on and i'm not keen on reading about those so who knows what will happen later but hopefully it doesn't become a thing like they're hinting for it to become a thing but i hope it doesn't and then I also started another book today on my phone, on my Kindle app, and that was The Girl You Thought I Was, which is an advanced reader's copy. It's a YA contemporary, it's coming out in June or July this year. It's about a girl whose parents have divorced and she's not taken it very well and she's taken up shoplifting. And at the beginning she gets caught trying to steal a pair of expensive sunglasses and then she gets told that she can do this like rehab program thing to prevent prosecution. So she goes ahead and does some sort of community service and that's as much as I've read so far. I'm only 15% of the way through, I think. I really enjoy the author's writing style. I read one of her books last year and absolutely fell in love with it. So now I want to read everything that she's ever written. And already I can tell this one is written really well and it's enticing and gripping. And the main character, I like her, but she is also flawed, which, you know, is always interesting in a book. And it's something I always really appreciate because no one wants a perfect main character. So that's how my reading's going. I'm going to listen to a little bit more of the Radium Girls before I go to see the film. But otherwise, I think my night will be taken up by horror films and probably me trying to get to sleep afterwards. Happy Friday. It is currently Friday evening and also the end of the reading vlog. I have quite a bit to update you on because I've done a lot of reading today and also yesterday evening, but 
I was in bed, so I didn't record anything. Uh, first of all, I finished The Radium Girls, which I was listening to as an audiobook, and it was absolutely fantastic. I loved the narration. Uh, it was narrated by the author. I loved the subject matter. I loved learning more about The Radium Girls. And I'd never actually heard them before picking up this book or before hearing about this book. So it was a really good insight into their lives and what they had to go through. I've read a little bit more of The Queen's Rising, or should I say like most of it. I've got about an hour left of the ebook, according to my Kindle. And it is picking up. It's gotten a lot better now that she has found a patron. The world's building has sort of expanded and opened up. It's gotten a lot more enjoyable. I feel like I'm a lot more engaged than I was in the beginning and while I still don't like the romance in it or what I assume is going to turn into a romance, I am really enjoying the world building. I also started a couple more books. So the first one is Heretics Anonymous which is coming out in the summer. I'm really looking forward to this one. It's a contemporary novel and the main character is a guy who's just moved schools. He's an atheist who goes to a Catholic school and he befriends a few people who are either feminists and questioning the Catholic religion, Jewish and obviously not actually Catholic, uh, pagan and a couple of others. And the group of them form this kind of support club where they can talk about their issues with various religions and how it's okay to have faith and also question it. And then I also started the audiobook for How to Train Your Dragon, which is one that I started last year or the year before maybe, but I wasn't enjoying it, so I stopped listening to it and I've decided to finally finish it because it's I only had three hours left and now I've only got one. I'm not I'm still not enjoying it, but the only reason I'm still listening to it is for David Tennant because his narration is fantastic. I'm just really disappointed that it isn't more like the film and Toothless is nothing like Toothless in the film. He's just He's not the same at all, and David Tennant's narration for Toothless's voice is just horrendous. Like, not in terms of David Tennant's talent, but in terms of... I want Toothless to be an adorable, cuddly, cat-dog-like dragon, but his voice is more like an old man who's drunk. So that's not great, but yeah, I'm gonna power through that probably on Monday morning when I'm drive to work again. I will let you know the rest of my reading plans in my next vlog because it's now the weekend and I've got quite a bit planned actually. Um, nothing this evening, I don't think, but tomorrow we're going up north a little bit to Leicester for a friend's birthday party. So I probably won't be reading anything at all this weekend, which is sad, but what can you do? I have to take a break sometimes, I suppose. I can maybe fit some booktubing in though, we'll see. As always, thank you for watching and I will speak to you all next week.